All right, welcome back, everyone, to more Gabriel Knight, The Peace Within. We're in the uh, the the Heron Shemisi Museum. Heron Shemisi Museum. Let's talk to Is Granny. That's the Ludwig Museum. Ja, ja. Ludwig der Zweite von Bayern. The fuck that bitch just say to me? Ludwig's Tagebuch in museum? Ja. Wo kann ich Ludwig's Tagebuch hier anschauen? Die Tagebücher sind ganz persönlich. Die sind in den königlichen Archiven. Niemand darf die lesen. Aber nein, niemand darf die lesen. Danke. Danke, Shade. I'm not done talking to you, Hooker. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Im Museum es einen Brief von Ludwig über eine neue wagner -Oppe. Ja, ja. Ich kenne diesen Brief. Wo kann ich äh, mehr von dieser wagner -Oppe sehen? Ja, ich weiß nichts über Wagner. Das hier ist kein Wagner-Museum. Ja, ich weiß. In Bayreuth befindet sich ein Wagner-Museum. Versuchen Sie es halt doch, ne? Bei Reut. Danke. Oh God, we have another fucking museum to go to. The Wagner Museum. Grüß Gott. Guten Tag. Ist das die Wagner Museum? Ja. You're an American, aren't you? I'm afraid the house is closed this time of year. It will be open next month. Crap. <laughs> you are interested in Wagner? Very interested. Very recently very interested. Yeah. Most of the house is closed for cleaning, but uh, a few rooms are open. I shouldn't let you, probably, but uh, if it is only you, he's in the you Asians. Are, aren't you? Endlessly. <laughs> Come in and look over. That's very generous. Um, what do I owe you? Georg. Georg Immerding. It's only a few displays. Besides, I wouldn't be much of a um, shining knight if I charge you. Thanks, Georg. My name is Grace. Hello. Have a good time. All right, let's start exploring the Museum of Wagner. Wagner's piano. On this piano, the maestro composed his later operas, including The Ring. Wagner. An old sofa. The death of Wagner. On Ash Wednesday, 1883, Wagner suffered a heart attack in a Venetian gondola on the way to San Michel. His wife and the gondolier carried him into a church where he regained consciousness. Wagner died four days later on this sofa. So just in case you're wondering, you do kind of have to research all this shit because it gives uh, Gracie the information she needs to further the game, if you will. Wagner's death mask. I need to get me a death mask. I'm way cuter than these motherfuckers. It looks every square inch is measured. 
We're looking to get five points here, so we want 317 before we leave. Beaujolais, dated September 1881. Looks like he's discussing acoustics and sound waves and crystals. Wasn't Wagner's Bayreuth Theater already built? Why would Wagner be worrying about acoustics? Ludwig as the classical Greek hero. The great patron himself. We talked to you about that hairdo. Ludwig's death. Ludwig. July 1882, great and beloved king, Monsieur Beaujolais and I have finished the diagram. We checked the figures many times and Monsieur is confident that it will work. Eight identical fixtures are to be made from the diagram and placed in the theater exactly as specified. I'm sending the diagram with your courier. Be full of hope and have courage. All will be well. Your own. Okay, that's definitely puzzle related. June 10th, 1881, Munich residence, great friend, I am writing to you in the middle of the night. My blood is pounding too wildly for sleep. Tonight's performance, how can I describe it? I am unsure whether to be terrified or thrilled. Perhaps I even feel hopeful. If it is hope, you have given it to me, my friend, for the first time in years. We must speak. Something happened during the music tonight, but I must have your absolute confidence. As you love me, come at once. Your devoted king, Ludwig. June 10th, 8th, we must speak. These two are definitely butt fucking. Costumes. Holy shit, get me out of this fucking place. What are you doing here if the museum is closed? They always like to have a caretaker here. It's a good job for me. I can uh, soak in the atmosphere of the maestro while I compose. What are you composing? This? Oh, a new arrangement. One of Wagner's pieces. For the Beirut Opera? No, no, no. I am only a student uh, at the university. Gracie needs to music. fucking uh, calm her Asian ass down. She's high strung as shit. Is there much of a call for conductors in Europe? Ask my brother. He is the conductor for the Munich Opera. Well, that's convenient. Does that mean you get free opera tickets? Yes. I get a week's pass to the Opernfestspiele, the uh, opera festival in Munich. It starts in a few months. Hope I'm still around to see it. Come with me if you like. If you're still around, I can go backstage and uh, all sorts of things. I'd love that. If I'm still in Germany, I'll call you, all right? Yeah, good. Tell me about Wagner. <sighs> he was a character. He spent most of his life trying to convince rich patrons to subsidize his work. Unfortunately, he had expensive tastes. You see, he believed that someone of his genius deserved to live well. Can't argue with that. But Ludwig II supported him, didn't he? Yeah, sure, but Ludwig came along very late in Wagner's life. By then, he had already been run out of Venice and uh, yeah, most major cities because of death. Ludwig saved him. And the music. Best thing Ludwig ever did. Do you know anything about that letter from Wagner to Ludwig in the display case? The one about the diagram? Ah. No. Some sort of equipment for Ludwig's theater. But I don't know why Wagner would have cared about this. If he was worried about any theater, you would think it would have been his own theater, here, in Bayreuth.
Have you ever heard about the letter that Ludwig wrote to the Munich conductor in 1882 telling him to prepare for a new Wagner opera? You're full of surprises for an American. What do you know about it? No one knows anything about it. It's like a treasure map, you know? It's probably a complete fairy tale, but uh, it does make you wonder. You have no idea what it could have referred to? Maybe something that Wagner was working on with Ludwig? If there was, there's no trace of it. Except perhaps in the dreams of unemployed music students. Hmm. Have you ever heard about the wolf panels in the singer's hall at Neuschwanstein? Did my brother send you here? No. <laughs> Probably not. It's only the letter to the conductor, the wolf panels. Oh, my brother thinks I am crazy because of all my theories. What theories? <laughs> this is clutch. If there was a lost opera, a lost Wagner opera, and if one could find it to a conductor, this would be like finding King Tut's tomb. But people have looked for it before. If it ever existed, it is gone forever. <laughs> my brother says I waste my time even thinking about it. I'm curious. Is there any other information that points to the lost opera besides Ludwig's letter and the wolf panels? It's nothing. <laughs> I'm not even supposed to have seen it. You see, my brother says that Wagner was too egotistical to have produced a lost opera. If he was working on something new, every person in Bayreuth would have heard about it. On the other hand, it was in Ludwig's character to have wanted a private opera. But it wouldn't have been private. Ludwig's letter shows he intended it to be played in Munich. Yes, but that it would get so far without Wagner telling others? Why keep it a secret? Maybe there was a very good reason for secrecy. Hmm. For example? Like, never mind. Let's head back to Zitter's bag. Herr Huber? Yes? Are the Smiths in their room? Yeah, I believe so. Could you ask them to come down, please? Oh, yeah, natürlich. I think I may need to go back and talk to George some more. I don't think I got all the dialogue I needed. Now you just tell Merle what's going on. I had a dream last night. I didn't remember it at first, but I saw something today at one of the museums. What was the dream? I was being chased in the woods by wolves. And I saw a sleigh. Ludwig was inside. He pulled me up, and I thought I was safe. 
But then he turned into a wolf. Hmm. So what do you think, Mother? A dream of rescue is a spiritual guide dream. The High Priestess in Gabriel's cards must be linked to Ludwig somehow. What do the wolves represent? I'm a psychic, dear, not Freud. But the warning I got was about the black wolf, wasn't it? And the wolves in the dream. It must be the same danger. It's so frustrating. The more I find out, the more questions I have. Why don't you try a little communicating of your own? Ludwig's the link. Appeal to him. The answers may not come right away, but at least you'll give the guide something specific to say the next time she contacts you. Isn't there any way that you could, you know, do a psychic reading on Ludwig or something? To tell you the truth, I've been trying all day to make contact. But I only feel great despair. Ludwig's soul is not at peace. I'd better go. Anytime you need us, stop by. And be careful, huh? Thanks. At least I have the car keys now. Yeah, bitch, jump in. We gotta go back. Skirt. I don't have any. I don't have anything to ask Georg about at the moment. Oh, okay. Who should I call? Let's try calling Barclay. Professor Barkley, it's Grace. Oh, good. Uh, I have a name for you. It's Herr Josef Dahlmeier, and uh, he specializes in Bavarian history, and uh, I think he's somewhere near you are. Herr Josef Dahlmeier. Great, got a number? Yeah, I do. It's 4982-555-2234. Uh, Thanks a lot. Sorry about the bother. Uh, that's no bother. Uh, when are you coming back to school, Gracie? When I figure it out, I'll let you know. Well, be good. Now, Dahlmeyer.
Hallo. Hallo, sind Sie Herr Josef Dahlmeier? Ja, you must be Grace Nakamura, the American history student. Yes. I hear you're interested in Ludwig II. Very. Good. There's something I want to show you. Drive to Berg on Starnberger See. Meet me at the Memorial Chapel. All right. Thank you. Oh, wait. Uh, was there anything you wanted me to look into before we meet? Well, I was hoping you knew something about someone called the Black Wolf. He was a contemporary of Ludwig's. He lived in Prussia, I think, and he was well connected. Uh, never heard of him, but I'll check. See you there. Thanks. Bye. Don't you do it, you dirty bitch. No, stop! Have you heard from Gabriel at all? No, Grace, I'm sorry. Never mind. That was pointless. It's a memorial chapel. It's a memorial. This is where he died. You must be Grace. Herr Dahlmeier. Hello. Josef. I didn't mean to startle you. I wanted you to see it. I feel him here the most, you know, more than at the castle. So, what did you want to know? <coughs> Professor Barclay says your hobby is Ludwig. Yes. He was the last real king that Bavaria had. As a Bavarian and a history buff, well, that's enough to hook me right there. But there's more, right? He was a romantic, you know. A dreamer. And he was misunderstood, maligned. Sounds like you can relate. Me? Hell, I have it easy. At least I live in the 1990s. And not every eye in the country is on me. But, yes, I can relate. You know about Ludwig's diary, right? Of course. How can I get my hands on it? <laughs> I'm sorry. I have been trying myself for five years. They keep it locked up tight in the Royal Archives and they don't let it out. They must think it contains things that will hurt his image. They won't let anyone see it? Not ever? Only one person outside of the government ever got to see it. A biographer, Sir Richmond Chapel. He had friends among the German royals and they let him look at it. Did you ever try to contact Chapel, pick his brain? No, and I don't believe I never thought of that. If you do and you find out anything, you must share. It's a promise. <laughs> Tell me about Ludwig. I don't know where to start, there's so much. Politically, the most significant thing about Ludwig II was that he signed over independent Bavarian statehood to Prussia in 1870. Mm. Bavaria became a part of United Germany, and Ludwig became a figurehead prince under the Prussian Kaiser. Why do you think he did that? 
Bavaria had been involved in the Hundred Years' War. People were tired of fighting. Prussia's push to unite the German states made some amount of sense. Still, Ludwig must have had other options. At the very least, he should have negotiated better terms. So what was the real reason? He was manipulated by Bismarck. At least that's what I think anyway. What about Ludwig personally? You'll find two perspectives on Ludwig. He liked the, the lollipops. The is the romantic ideal. Ludwig, the tormented loner. Then there is the historian's point of view. Ludwig was plagued with guilt over his sexual orientation and was driven mad with self-loathing. But I take it you're not buying either point of view. <laughs> well, it's all too convenient, isn't it? That he was a devout Catholic, there is no question, and I'm sure there were pressures on him to be normal. But he was no prude. He loved Byron. Mm. Yes. Philosophy, the French court. If anything, Ludwig was too much an egomaniac. He didn't give a damn what anyone thought. And besides, he didn't try to hide any of his relationships. If he suffered from anything in his romantic life, it was disillusionment. No one loved him back as purely as he himself loved. Well, if it wasn't sexual guilt that tormented him, what was it? I don't know. His diary was filled with self-guilt, but I'm sure it's not about that. If I knew, I'd write my own book, set the record straight, so to speak. Have you read anything about Ludwig's midnight sleigh rides? Oh, would that have been something? To be out at night and suddenly see him sweep by with his entourage? They say the night agitated Ludwig and that being outdoors and the rushing feeling of the sleigh calmed him down. Sometimes even the sleigh wasn't enough. He would stop in some remote woods, order his servants to stay put and go wandering off by himself for hours. It drove the servants crazy. Did you find out anything about the Black Wolf? I did. I'd read about him before, but I hadn't realized that was who you were talking about. His name was Godin, Paul Godin. I found a reference to his being called the Black Wolf after you telephoned. I've never heard of him. Who was he? Godin lived on the fringes of the Prussian court. He was handsome, charming, dangerous, or so they say. He was variously rumored to have been a foreign prince, a Prussian spy, even an assassin. Since you were interested in him, I found out some things that are probably true. It said he came from abroad in the mid-1800s, but claimed high German blood. Do you know where he came from? No. And he was ruthlessly ambitious. He probably found out who held the power, Bismarck, and offered his services. Bismarck was a good judge of talent of that sort, anyway. What else do you know about Godin? He must have done something remarkable. Bismarck was not a generous man. He liked to string people along with promises, but rarely came through. He did for Godin, though. He gave him a royal title and lands in 1863. And that was the last reference I found to him. Well, how could he just disappear? Uh, it's not that unusual. Back then, when you were given a title, you usually changed your name and moved to a place where no one knew your past, so you could act with impunity or be a pompous ass and get away with it. <laughs> Tell me about Bismarck. Oh, Bismarck. He was the Prussian Kaiser's Chancellor. Not a nice man. Bismarck had a reputation for learning people's weaknesses and manipulating them. It's a matter of record that he had spies on Ludwig's staff. He may even have had a henchman even closer to the king. And he was involved in the conspiracy to declare Ludwig insane. Is there any way to find out what Godin was called after he got his title? Is it that critical? It might be. Well, you could send away for a copy of the entitlement deed. Assuming it has been destroyed during one of the wars, Godin's new name would be on it. 
But you would need a research permit from the government to access those records, and they can be very hard to get. A lot of red tape. Great. What do you know about Ludwig's hunting accident? A couple of years ago, I was introduced to this great old man, a real old world farmer. Well, his grandfather was Richard Horning, Ludwig's equestrian. Oh, he told some great Ludwig stories. Sometimes I get lucky. <laughs> anyway, he said that after the hunting accident, Ludwig got terribly ill, that he had a fever and was acting crazy. They were afraid that the wolf had been carrying a disease or that the bite had gone septic. A wolf bit him? Yes, yeah, it's not so unusual. There were a lot of wolves in the Alps back then. The servants were really worried, but Ludwig recovered, physically anyway. Horning's grandfather said it was the fever that broke Ludwig's mind, that he was worse than ever after that. What do you mean Ludwig got worse after the accident? Ludwig always had been a very private person. But after the accident, he got darker, more crazy. Towards the end, he was even forcing his servants to enter his chambers bent over so they couldn't see his face. Horning's grandfather said his temper was fearsome. He would fly into a rage at the least mistake. Must have been terrified of yes. him. Yes, well. Horning's grandfather felt sorry for Ludwig, and Ludwig hated his own violence. He was always giving gifts to his servants to apologize. You mentioned that there were other reasons why Ludwig's servants feared him. Ah, that's another of Horning's mysteries. There's a story about Neuschwanstein. Apparently, there was a period of time of two or three months when Wagner would come and visit him. Wagner? There. Yeah. The two would lock themselves in the singer's hall. Horning's grandfather said the sounds that came from there were awful. Well, the servants had superstitious minds anyway. Some of them quit over it, just walked away. What kind of sounds? Horning's grandfather called them heartbreaking and ungodly. Maybe it was Wagner trying to sing. <laughs> well, I guess that's all for now. It <laughs> sure is. It's my pleasure. And if you ever want to talk again, mm -hmm. just give me a call. I'll meet you. And down. notice oh, we yeah. just Thanks. breached the halfway Bye. point for getting the full 679 points. Can we do it, folks? I don't know. Figuring this shit out all on myself. This is where they found Lud. So far, I gotta admit, this game is pretty fucking boring. Uh, captivation level, negative two. Alright, we're gonna have to stretch this video out. Do you have any idea where I could get a government research permit? I don't have time for a lot of red tape. You should ask Herr Übergrau. He can maybe get such things very fast. You think? I was going to write Gabriel today anyway. Back to the library. Hopefully, Grace gets naked. Doing that research. Research that shizn it.
Hallo, Bertil München. Hi, I have a book of yours on Ludwig II. The author's name is Sir Richard <coughs> Chapel. Yes, I'm dying. Well, I'm doing some research Call an ambulance. Ludwig, and I was hoping you could get me in contact with the author. I'm afraid Sir Richmond Chapel is deceased. Oh. However, his son is living. Oh. Well, is there any way you can put me in touch with him? And who are you doing this research for? My dick. Well, I'm working with Professor Barclay from Yale University. Mm. All right. Thomas Chapel's number in England is 41 20 555 771. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Goodbye. Bye. All right. Oh, no, you dirty slut. Get back down on that table. I'm not done with you. I don't think pleading with Mr. Chapel will help. Whoops. Skip Mr. Chapel shit. Oh well. I'm not sure what other. I told you to sit back down, Biatch. It's time for you to write a letter. I should get a letter off to Gabriel. You should. I need to include a note to Ubergrau about the research permit. What sucks is if you accidentally click, it skips the whole goddamn scene. Like most women, she doesn't follow directions very good. Kind of ridiculous I should have to put up with this. Alright, let's mail that letter. There's no one there. There's no one. Ring this goddamn bell. Can I decent brief for sending? Konnichiwa. Yeah, try not bitte. Keep the change, you filthy Dankeschön. animal. Danke. Bitte. Gibt's das denn die Lilienblühen schon? Sehr schön. Ja, aber es ist doch noch so kalt. Für Sie ein Geschenk von der Madonna? Oh, nein. No. Nehmen Sie sie ruhig. Heute Nacht wird es kalt und sie wird sowieso erfrieren.
Thank you. Now you must lick my saggy balls. She's thinking about it. present to you an extended video of the beast within. Son of a bitch. I'm trying to figure out what you want me to do. But I need more information to work with. If you can send any my way, I'd appreciate it. Shit. It's the first time an Asian did not have a camera out and ready. Give a quick save here. We're getting close to chapter five, folks. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this LP bomb a little bit more than I have. Because it is like goddamn school. I feel like I'm learning things. There's no one there. Bitch, we know the drill. My German isn't good enough for chit-chat. Oh, Christ. I don't want to mail that. Danke. Bitte. I don't want to mail anything. Let's check up on our local our local people, make sure we don't need to exhaust any more dialogue here. This motherfucker ain't home. I don't have I don't have anything to ask. I don't have anything.
She's creepy, yo. Yurkin. I don't want to disturb. Fuck that old hoe. Oh no, all son, this bitch has a package for me. Dankeschön. Thomas Chapel. I don't even know that I did anything different. 11th June 1872. Holy Louis shit. has convinced me to think matters through more thoroughly before I act. A trip it shall be then, to Shahin. It shall not alter my purpose, I feel, nor shall his compelling. The treaty is the ruin of my beloved Bavaria and must be taken to task. 5th January 1874. By the power of Mary, Mother of God, I swear to refrain from the ultimate sin and to remain steadfast in my flesh, sworn by the power of the lily. 30th August, 1879. I will not falter, but will remain true. No matter the torment or longing, I will not yield. I will control the process. God grant me strength and will. By the grace and power of the monarchy and its allegiance, De Paul Leroy. 10th September 1880. It is all finished. Elizabeth warned me and I discovered the truth at last. O oh, most venomous viper at my very bosom. O oh, lowest of the least worthy who ever breathed. My Judas, my devil. If I could tear my heart out and fling it after him in the dirt, I would. I would. Tenth June, eighteen eighty-one. Bitch, you missed a paper. Twelfth December, eighteen eighty. He continues to come, the devil. I will never look upon his hideous face again. He is afraid I will tell, and I might, I might, to destroy him. I might. When I think of the accident, now that things are clear, I wonder: was it truly an accident, or was it the plot to kill me? If so, why did he not complete it then, instead of putting me in this torment? Could he have hated me so? I wish to God he had simply ended it there. 10th June 1881. Terror. Rapture. During W's music tonight, I felt a pulling. The horror nearly came upon me right there. Then the music turned, and it was gone. What can it mean? I must confide in the great friend. Perhaps he will know what has happened. 2nd August 1882. The experiments go better and better. W has proved as loyal and determined as ever I believed he would be in a matter of my salvation. He says he has the formula now. It remains only to put the finishing touches on the completed opera and to draw up the diagram for the crystals. Can it truly end? I scarce dare to hope. April 1883. The great friend is dead. How unjust that he should be taken from me now. Where is my chance at salvation? Why has God condemned me twice? April 18... April Flip 18... Flip the page, bitch! 10th October 1885. There must be well, made clear funds for the crystals. Lies. Everyone <sighs> lies. My own servants. What must I do? Must I sell one of my beloved castles? The crystals must be made. I grow daily less able to control my own will. How long will I be able to resist the ultimate sin? And the music is worthless without the device. Time is running out. The crystals must be made. All right, this chapter is coming to a close. We need to return to the Wagner, Wagner Museum.
Guess I could have split this up into another video, but hey, you get an extra lengthy one. Have you heard of Ludwig's diary? Yes, but uh, no one is allowed to see Got it. Got it in my pocket. It just so happens that I have a copy of an English translation right here. There's something I wanted to show you. Read this one. August, Achtenstein, Axik. The experiments go better and better. They has proved as loyal and determined as ever. It remains only to put the finishing touches on the completed opera. To make up the diagram for the crystal, my god! Wait, I, I want to show you something. I am not supposed to have looked at this myself, but uh, <laughs> I am here alone all day, so. <laughs> July 1881, Richard returned from his meeting with the king. Never have I seen him so pale. I was concerned for his heart. He would not speak with me, but immediately shut himself up in his study and started working on a new project. He will not tell me the first thing about it. He will only say that it was time he repaid his king. It confirms Ludwig's diary. He wasn't crazy. Yes, but Ludwig says that the opera was completed. Imagines are completed. There's something else. August 1882. We had a messenger tonight from the king. He brought a letter which Richard burnt. I did manage to see a bit of it. It said something about a great night in Munich and that it would be Richard's supreme triumph and someone else's destruction. Ludwig then wrote that even though he himself would probably die, his immortal soul would be freed thanks to Richard. I worry for poor Ludwig and for us. Where will we be if his madness continues? Surely someone will put an end to it. Wow. There's one more. May 1883. I sent Richard's sealed package to the king as he instructed moments before he closed his eyes forever. I could not even bring myself to care what was in it. What could it matter now? Whatever it is, I hope it brings the king good memories of Richard. He did so much for my beloved. The package. The package.